Hey, it's time for Loco Lights on WHHI, powered by LocoSports.com. So let's get into the highlights. Starting with the showdown you saw right here on WHHI, Buford Academy hosting Thomas Hayward Academy in a Skiza rivalry and rough start for the home Eagles. The punt snap over the head of the kicker. Thomas Hayward going to take over inside their own, inside the BA5, and they will punch it in with Anthony Fripp to go on top early against BA. But the Eagles come right back. That ground game was terrific all night long. Braden Deneen takes, him, takes it himself for the touchdown. BA back on top. Deneen had a monster game on the ground and through the air. Devontae Green and Jackson Porter also getting it done on the ground. And here's Deneen. Fakes the handoff going deep for the hoop star. Zeke Gonzalez, the point guard turned wide receiver, hauls it in. Big gain for the Eagles. They are in business. And then they're going to get down in the red zone and keep it with Deneen once again. He is across the line for a touchdown. Buford Academy in control in the first half. Thomas Hayward trying to get back in it and give it to Tony O'Banner, the freshman. Big run up the sideline for O'Banner to move the sticks, but and they would get it in the end zone. But then later on, the pass intended for Tyshawn Mansell off the helmet and picked off by Braden Deneen and B.A. back in business. Back in the red zone for B.A. Fakes the handoff to Green, and it is picked off in the end zone by Thomas Hayward. The Rebels back in business. Looks like that is Tyshawn Mansell once again with the big pick to keep the Rebels in it. And then Dietrich Schufert going deep. For Cutter Williams, wide open up the sideline. It's a touchdown. The Rebels are on top. How long would it last? Not long. Eagles come right back. And it's Deneen again into the end zone. Buford Academy answering right back. But guess what? Here comes Thomas Hayward. It was a shootout. Tony O'Banner, the freshman, Leaping over a tackler, making men miss. Stiff arm, Heisman style, and he's into the end zone. Thomas Hayward on top, 27-24. Can B.A. answer one more time? Devontae Green says, yes, indeed. Cuts back to the right side, gets around a tackler, finally pushed out of bounds, and then they go to Jackson Porter. Porter running behind Green this time, and he takes it down inside the 10, down to the 5. Time ticking down. B.A. going for it on fourth down, and Devontae Green is into the end zone. B.A. takes a 31-27 lead, and the defense just needs one stop to seal it. Shuford back to pass. Looking deep. There's Zeke Gonzalez again playing center field. He makes the pick. That's going to seal it for B.A. as Gonzalez takes it across midfield and puts the Eagles into victory formation Mark Clifford's squad celebrates its first ever win over Thomas Hayward. Taking it over to Hardyville on Thursday night. Early start to week eight, Christian Tilton, he loves the spotlight. And with the only game in town on Thursday, he had it all to himself. Tilton with another monster game on the ground, over 180 yards rushing on just eight carries. And he also finds Tony Hill, one of the quickest straight line runners you find, gets him in space. And he darts to the end zone after falling behind 6-0. JP2 rolls to a 43-6 win over Northwood Academy. In a big Skiza 3A showdown, one of these teams likely to end up with the number one seed. And it was homecoming at PD, so they were fired up for a visit from the two-time defending state champs. Dylan Clark swinging it out to A.J. Haupt, who picks up a few yards. The Eagles would take the lead. 22 to 19 after trailing 19 to nothing. Dylan Clark with a touchdown run and a two point conversion to put him on top. But Hudson Spivey, that quarterback for PD, is something else. He was able to lead the Eagles down the field for a touchdown. Here's his first half touchdown pass that put PD up 19 to nothing. And PD holds on 26 22. Could see a rematch next month in Charleston. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco.